Buonasera, buonasera. So, do you know about this? This painting by Leonardo da Vinci sold on November 15th, 2017 for over $450 million, right? That's pretty cool, huh? 500 years later, this painting, they just they recently discovered it. And the painting is called Salvatore Mundi. Anybody know what that means? Savior of the world. Now, I have a feeling that part of what brings us all together, the higher purpose of this conference, yes, you want to learn about you know, how to navigate your career and so on and so forth, but we want to help save the world. We want to make a difference. We want to alleviate suffering. We want to elevate joy. But here's the challenge. You can make a great innovation or invention. You can develop tremendous skill as a surgeon or a veterinarian or whatever specialty you want to go into. But you're going to go into a system because medicine, in this country especially, is a big, big, big business. And we have to heal that business so that we can heal the people who need the healing. So I'm, I'm really curious, and I've been asking myself this question, what's the purpose of business? And you ask that question to most people, and they say, well, the purpose of business is make money. But that's like saying, you know, what's the purpose of your life? And you would say, uh, make red corpuscles. I'm a red corpuscle production machine. Now, you need to make them. You can't live without them. But is that the purpose of your life? No, you have a higher purpose, don't you? Well, so does business beyond making money. M making money is just like make red corpuscles in order to survive, to keep going. So I say the purpose of business is to alleviate suffering and elevate joy, to serve the needs of all stakeholders, employees, customers, communities, the whole environment. So I want you to imagine a world, because you're the ones who are going to make it happen, a world in which business makes human flourishing its first priority. Imagine the consequences for the quality of the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the land and seascapes that support our lives. Can you imagine this world? Are we going to create it together? Right? So, so check this out. You know how you take the Hippocratic Oath to be a physician? You're the first lines are primum non nocere, first do no harm. His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, our purpose here is to help one another. If you can't do that, at least cause no harm. So what if there was a healing oath for businesses? Right? I will operate my business in a way that causes no harm to others or to the earth. Malis eradicare, root out evil. I will never enable or collude with abuse or exploitation. I will be an everyday hero who stands up for fairness, truth, beauty, integrity, and basic goodness. Can you imagine what our world would be like if every business leader took this oath? And amor vincit omnia. This is Leonardo da Vinci's personal motto. He wrote it over and over again in his notebook. Love conquers all. I will operate from love. I will measure success by the fulfillment, abundance, and joy I generate for others. So I'm going to leave this with the organizers of this fabulous conference. And if you would like to, I don't want to ask you to take the oath right away because I don't want to, I'm not trying to just get you into a psyched up state and have you do something. I want you to think about it. I want you to think if, you, if this is how the principles and the values you want to run your life on and the rest of your career. And then we'll make sure you have access to this. So if you want to take it, you can make a video of yourself taking it and you can send it to me and we're going to post it on this site that we're creating. We're getting CEOs and people from all over the world who want to be part of this movement to help heal the world through transforming the purpose and the consciousness of business. And my new book, co-authored with my dear friend, Professor Raj Sisodia, is called The Healing Organization, Awakening the Conscience of Business to Help Save the World. Grazie mille. Thank you so much. Thank you.